So welcome to the show, uh, Money Talk and Investment with Ali Sharaki and Kian. In this session, we want to talk about the first uh, steps people have to take to have a better financial future. So let's talk about this and ask the question first from Kiana. What do you think people should do as a first step to have a better financial future, Kiana? Well, to have a successful life, you need to spend less money and do a job that will give you at least some money to still live on. And then when you get some money, then get a better job and don't buy things that aren't useful in life. And did I told you this stuff or you just <laughs> made it up? <laughs> made it up. I'm very proud. Nine years old saying this stuff is awesome. So what about you, Kim? What do you think... Uh, is the first uh, step well okay. i actually have two things um oh. two i actually yeah. have uh two two steps to um have a success secure your financial future mm. so f the first one is you have to have a roadmap you have to know where you're going it's like you get into a car and you don't you just get in the car and you start driving and then you run out of petrol and you're stuck in the middle of nowhere that's why it's very important to have a roadmap where you're going to go from A to B to B to C. The, and the second one is you have to have a reason why. Why are you doing this? Maybe the reason why is because you're doing it for your kids. Maybe you're doing it for a friend. Or maybe you're just doing it for yourself. So those are the two important steps to secure your financial future. Absolutely. I agree with that. And, uh... What do you think? I agree with that, what you just said. First step is to have a plan, have a vision. What do you want from your future? So you know exactly what you want. To, you know, when I ask people, most of them, they don't even know what they want from the future. So the first step is to know exactly what you want from your future, how you want your future to look like, and also have a strong why. Why do you want it to look like that? Is it because of your kids? Is it because of what? Why is it? What desire do you have? And why do you want it to be like that? Now, what do you have to do to get there from now to then? The first step is if you have any uh, debt to the bank, you have to understand we have good debt, we have bad debt, and we can talk about this in uh, um, another uh, show we have, uh, the good debt and bad debt. But uh, you have to make sure you pay your bad debt off and you have just good debt because if you have a bad debt, uh, you know, forever you're going to be paying to the banks you know you're going to pay a lot of interest to the banks so you have to make sure you pay your credit card off you pay your personal loan off and if you don't know how to do it and how to manage it there are lots of charities out there which they can help you to uh, budget it and manage it to be able to pay all this debt off and then after that you need to be able to start saving some money so basically you need to have a job first to be able as kiana says uh, to be able to earn some money and then you pay your debt off and then you start saving some money, very small amount. Even for example, in Forex market, you can start with even 1000 pounds, right? But after you, you know, uh, after you've done the learning, then you're going to, you know, make money from it. Uh, uh, but you can start with even 1000 pounds. In property market, for example, you need at least uh, 25, 30,000 pounds to start. Uh, we can discuss all this. There are strategies which you don't even need money to start, but obviously you're not going to uh, get that much uh, in return. Now, but the first step is make sure you have a plan, make sure you have a vision. The second important thing is make sure, first of all, you have a job, so you have an earning coming in. The other thing after that is to make sure you pay all your debt off and uh, you don't have uh, that much credit card debt to pay because, you know, the banks are charging a lot for their... Uh, you know for the money they are lending you so you have to make sure you pay that off and then also you have to start saving some money now when you saved money that saved money then you have to start investing it when you start 
investing it for example in stock market or in property uh, same time you are working so you're gonna have two income stream which is gonna be from investment and also it's gonna be from your job and slowly slowly the income from the investment is gonna get to the point where uh, you know if you want to stop working you can stop working and then just rely on the income from the investment which could be from the property or could be from the stock market but if you don't have a job you don't have no earning and you have lots of financial debt you should not be joining no kind of investment course or any kind of course you have to first make sure you are paying your debt off and uh, if, even if they promise you by the next day you're gonna make a million or you're gonna become they lie to you free all this stuff. they lie to you they if lie. somebody if somebody in any course or any of these advertisement you saw they're promising you if you come to that course by tomorrow morning you're gonna start making a lot of money they lie to you i tried all this i always look for shortcut trying to go short it's not working right uh, success is a journey is a long journey and you have to take it step by step uh, that's why we are doing this podcast and it's for free uh, you know we are not getting anything out of this podcast but the reason i'm doing this podcast is just to make sure i educate people because i'm tired of people getting ripped off with all these uh, uh, people okay. promising them yeah okay. promising them and uh, mis-selling to them which i was missold a lot myself and i'll be talking about some of the uh, scams which i had to go through to get to where i'm now sure. yeah uh, not next show exactly but uh, you know we we put it out there uh, but uh, this is what it is uh, let us know uh, what do you think uh, do you agree with the steps i said uh, ask any question you got you know ask questions inside the comment uh, and then you know we try to uh, answer you yeah good evening uh, stefan harris thank you for uh, joining us uh, please if anybody's got any question or any suggestion of what you want us to cover what question do you want us to answer uh, like our page uh, subscribe to uh, our video channel on youtube uh, we really appreciate uh, your support because we just trying to uh, run this podcast to be able to give more information out to people and educate people about money um, not having education about money can be very costly if you are in financial difficulties right now because of the pandemic please uh, search on uh, the charities which they help you with uh, budgeting your debt and help you to uh, plan to how to pay your debt off uh, your neighborhood office can be your uh, first point of contact uh, or if you search online there are lots of charities which uh, they provide the service for free uh, if you want me to give you information about that as well uh, write a comment underneath this post or pm me um, you know i you know i can uh, point you to the right direction to get some uh, planning to sort out your financial debt but as long as you have financial debt and you have lots of interest to pay to the bank you will not get anywhere that should be your first step have a job have an earning pay that off and then start saving and then invest that money now you can start joining the courses to learn how to invest while you're saving but you should not be joining any of these kind of courses if you are already in five or six thousand pounds especially if you are more than two thousand pounds in debt on credit card you should not join in no course the first step should be to pay that debt off you know and i've been there i use my credit card to pay for all these courses um, and i don't advise it to anybody because you need a very strong mental stress uh, mental shield around your head to be able to cope with the pressure because you know you're going to receive a lot of letter from the bank and everywhere and you need to pay it uh, the interest keep mounting up especially if you are paying a minimum payment you're never going to pay that credit card off so you have to make sure you pay your credit card off first your personal off your personal loan off uh, and uh, then make after sure, that you can start saving make yeah. sure you have no bad debt only good debt yes bad debt is the credit card and a personal loan if you have it on your name because they're charging you a lot of per, you know interest and you might say it's just a little bit but trust me they mount up uh, and i was you know stuck in it for 15 years until finally i could um, you know manage and i cut out everything paid my debt off and i started investing so i hope this has been useful to you guys uh, and i love to see you succeed uh, send us any question if you have you can also record your uh, voice on anchor uh, and send us a you know voice recording of you and your comment or your question and we can play it here appreciate your time thank you very much and have a nice evening